What's going on is, you know, we all, it's Pythagoras theorem again, but now it's, you know, couched in exponential of x squared, but it's the same story, just, uh, you know, an integral representation of it. And uh, that's why we actually care about convolutions. This is one of the main reasons why they always show up every place in, uh, you know, studying power of the radars and uh, voice of a opera singer and God knows what. And now, what's a convolution of the Gaussian? The whole business is really embarrassing because, you know, you can get tenure just integrating Gaussians. Basically, every theoretical physicist does that. The convolution said, if I have two things, it's a product of what they are. If they happen to be Gaussians, I just computed them. And I didn't in one dimension, but you know how to do it in all the dimensions. So it's square root per dimension of the covariance divided by two pi. For the first Gaussian, let's say it has covariance delta, this square. But there are two of them, so let's say the other one has covariance I call Q1, subscript 1, D over 2. Then I multiply two Gaussians, but they add up in numerator. So what happens is, this is covariance of the convolution. It's a Gaussian. And the covariance of convolution of two Gaussians, you know, playing with each other, Q2, is just the sum of the two guys. So covariances, the convolution of two Gaussians is a Gaussian. 